Hello folks, and yes, I'm engaged in this unthinkable act of barbarism by using a pruning saw to cut off this dense root ball of a tree which I rescued from a city garden, uh, from a city parking lot. I know how it looks, but also I know that it's necessary in order to save the tree and to have it grow and prosper in the coming years because if you don't die of heart attack watching me do it do that you can google root bound or pot bound trees and then you witness the true horror of this abomination which lots of gardening centers and landscaping agencies perpetuate continuously. What you want is that shaggy exterior of small roots going in all different directions and not this dense mat of roots that resemble peat moss and don't worry about root damage too much because everything I have damaged right now will just become plant food in the coming years and this plant already lacks a crown you can see that I have cut the crown and left just a couple of small buds here to develop so those are the trees which I rescued yesterday and I'll take this opportunity to talk about large size potted trees you can clearly see the root ball shape of the trees which is still very evident even though they spent three years in the soil and they almost didn't grow in roots and grew very little in uh, crown, crown size and the problem is that uh, the landscaping agency which was paid uh, what I consider obscene amount of money for this type of service they grow those trees in pots where they naturally get root bound so the whole root ball uh, behaves as a single clump and no roots are um, incentivized so to speak to travel outside of the root ball and to seek new nutrients and water so you can see that this one came out with the circular shape of the pot it was I can tell you the diameter and the depth of the pot in which it was grown a maple of this size should have at least two meters down uh, top root and at least two meters to the sideways feeder roots but no and when they planted those uh, seven, they were originally 12, but five of them died, trees, they just dug a hole into a parking lot and just dumped them inside and didn't care at all for the plants. And what you just saw me do in the beginning of this video is absolutely necessary operation to be done with root bound pots plants such as those so now i have to plant those out somewhere in our garden but before that i have to hack and chop and trim each of those root balls in order to have free flowing roots roots going to the side and not just sticking as a whole clump one way to do that is to immerse them in a bucket of water and then it's easier to chop because the original dirt will fall but 
I like to keep some of that original dirt and some of the biome. However, mm, non-living, it may be unknown rich, but after all, the trees spent the last three years and uh, previously at least six or seven years in pots with that biome. So I would rather not deprive them of that. And here I have another baby birch growing. This one is grown from seed. It's a water birch. And this one, which I hope it roots, is a regular white birch. And while we're on the topic of topic of rescuing trees, those eight hazel new plants potentially came out of this giant hazel stump. If you follow me on Instagram, you know the backstory. It came out of this spot on the other side of the neighbor's fence. And this hazel is certainly more than 30 years old. It was taller than their house. And it gave enough ha hazels for the both families, basically. Very large size trunks, and you can see why I cut it with the chainsaw just to be able to split a few of the parts and those came with some rudimentary roots but uh, they will be dug deeper so this will allow the stems to root as well and I hope that they will make a nice hedge because uh, I think I will be giving them away as a gift to some friends in the village so that was all for today I'm leaving you with this photo of the car loaded up with the trees I just dug out and basically saved them from being chopped down at the base and also I'm leaving you with an appeal to always be on the lookout for trees or plants which you can save and plant in your garden or if you don't have a garden space maybe in a local park or in a forest and I thank you in advance.